Hey, how's it going? John from Branson Cerakote and Laser. We're uh, about two thirds of the way through getting our shop set up and we just figured we'd do a quick update video, kind of walk you through, show you the layout and give you a status update. We're moving from our old shop a little bit north of Branson on kind of the north end down here to Hollister, which is kind of a, not really a suburb, but they're, they're two cities are just right next to each other, basically about the same size. So the new shop is at 131 Industrial Park Drive, number three here in Hollister. Let's go on in. So it's gonna be kind of the reception area. We're gonna build a, a custom reception desk uh, with our plasma cutter and put like a barn wood top on it. So this little office space is actually gonna be a, a room I'm pretty excited about. We're gonna turn this into our social media slash podcast room. We're hoping to have a podcast up and running within the next probably couple of months. And we're hoping that it's gonna be something where people can have a lot of interaction, probably start out doing it once a week, maybe even bump it up to more than that if it seems to be like it's, uh, if it seems to be popular enough. This will also be where we do a lot of the video editing and things like that. So we're gonna have a pretty good setup in here. Again, kind of like the uh, reception desk. We're gonna build kind of a custom table here, make some uh, a cool custom base with the plasma cutter and then put combo bar and wood top on it. We're also hoping here pretty quickly, as soon as we get moved in and get kind of rolling to start a second YouTube channel, that's kind of a, instead of what we've been doing, kind of an instructional and kind of project-based YouTube channel, what we're gonna do is start a second one. It's only gonna be like three to five minute videos. We're up and up upload every day and it's going to be more of a here's how our shop is this is what we've got going on here's how a shop operates every day just give you more of an overview versus kind of a really focused youtube channel on projects and things like that this will be more of an overview of how a circo shop runs so it'll be kind of a daily check-in on all of our employees what are you working on today what have we got going on in the shop to just kind of give you an idea of how things flow how things operate in a kind of a, a fairly decent sized shop like ours So this room is going to be kind of our merchandise room. We're going to uh, have, we've got t-shirt presses, hat presses, cup presses, things like that. We've got the ability to sublimate and also do five color printing, which you can put on shirts and also just cut regular vinyl to press. So we're going to have some stuff coming out, hopefully some merchandise and things we can put on our website uh, and sell in the, in the future. Uh, but this is going to be kind of where that stuff is all stored and, and manufactured, I guess. So this is our shipping room. We've gotten to the point where we ship out several hundred orders of, uh, orders and guns, things like that, a month. And it's just gotten really kind of cumbersome in the space that we're in now. So we bought this nice big shipping table so that we can put a computer in the middle of it and have a couple of orders being worked on at the same time uh, to get those out the door. We've got a program coming up that's going to probably ramp that up even more to where we may have an extra 1,000 to 2,000 items being shipped out every month and we just need the extra space we have a room dedicated to nothing but kind of our shipping so this room is going to be kind of our showroom slash classroom we're hoping to within a few months start doing the nra concealed weapons classes some home defense classes things like that so this space will give us the room to set up some tables and do those and also to kind of display some of the just items we have for sale some of the wholesale uh, accounts that we're going to have that we'll have some of those items for sale and, and display uh, for when customers come in. So this is going to be our office manager, Bailey's office. Um, this is also where all our vinyl cutters are going to be. So that's kind of one of her jobs is during the day is to just keep cutting inventory. Um, but she's also going to be in charge of kind of just keeping everything running. This office space is going to be for Laura and I. Um, this is where we'll have our conference table and a couple of desks um, and basically just kind of jungle cats all day. So we're still in the process of getting equipment set up and things. So it's so it's a little bit disorganized back here, but we're getting there. Um, this area is gonna be where our lasers are set up. So we've got room right now for our CO2 and our fiber, and we've also got room to expand to a couple more of each, which is kind of our plan in the next year. So this is the infamous shipping container. This is actually gonna be our vault. So the, this hole behind me that we've got cut, we've actually got a vault door coming that we're gonna have welded in there once, uh, once it comes in, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Um, and then we're going to outfit the inside of it with cabinets, racks, things we need to, to secure firearms and anything else that you know, we want to protect. It's got full electric inside, it's got dehumidifiers, it's got a um, you know, fire protection system. So it's a, a pretty cool setup that we've got going on here. This is our 10 by 5 foot plasma cam CNC plasma table. We're, we've got it about two thirds of the way set up. We're waiting on um, some guidance, I guess, from plasma cam on one part that we're not sure about and then we'll be able to get this the rest of the way set up. So we're really excited about having this piece of equipment and being able to do some cool stuff with it. So this is our new oven um, from lightarmor.us. This one is built a thousand times better than our current oven, which um, you know I've, I've told people in other videos was from a company in Iowa that completely ripped us off. 
Um, it, it just really wasn't built very well. It was built, a lot of the wiring inside was inferior. We had to completely rewire it and do a lot of the work ourselves. This thing came from Light Armor Turnkey. As soon as we had the electrical plug put in, this thing's just rocking and ready to go. So we're gonna put our second oven next to that and then we'll put a cart in between them with our toaster ovens and things like that that we use for the smaller project. So this is our new spray booth. It's a 10 foot wide, uh, seven foot tall booth from Global Finishing Solutions. Um, we're also going to bring the booth from our current shop, which is a six foot wide booth from Global Finishing Solutions. That's gonna be set up right next to it. But we're really excited about this because we can have two people at a time in here spraying and still have plenty of room. We've got our rapid air max line system pretty much set up. We've got a few fittings to put in still, but we're gonna have dual manifolds on each side so we can just set pressures, not have to worry about changing pressures from uh, you know elite series to back down to H series, things like that. They'll already just be set. It's just a matter of picking up a hose, popping on a gun and going. This is our uh, new compressor. It's an Atlas Copco compressor. It's got the built-in air dryer system to it, so it's just a really low maintenance. It's a screw drive, so it's really quiet. Um, and with the air dryer built in, it's just one less piece of equipment that we have to worry about kind of fitting into a space and getting it to work. It all works together. It's got an automatic drain that's just gonna drain to the outside, and it's very, very efficient. So we're really excited about this. It's very quiet, very low maintenance. It's just a really good compressor. These are our new benches. We got these from Uline. Um, these will be for Zach and Andrew, uh, our applicators, to just you know work on while they're back here. So we got them some really good benches, a lot of storage space, uh, a lot of surface space to work on. We got a second TP Tool sandblast cabinet. That's not quite hooked up yet. We got some stuff we got to do that. I, I didn't bring the uh, metering valve from the old shop yet, so I, I need to bring that in on Monday and we'll get that popped in. And then this thing will be pretty much ready to go. What we're waiting on to get the sandblasting systems up and going is to bring the old, the other sandblaster down here and so that we can also move the dust collection system down here and get that going. So this room's gonna be actually our, kind of our soak room and coating room. What we're gonna do is put a refrigerator in this corner of the fridge we have in the old shop that we store the coating in. That's gonna be over here. And then we built the stand for this new soap tank. Um, it's a, I think a 40 gallon tank that we're not gonna obviously fill that all the way up, but it's, it's big enough that we could put bigger projects in it. And then we also had this uh, double stainless steel sink put in so that you know after the stuff comes out of the Simple Green, we can just rinse it off right here, put it on a cart and wheel it out to the oven to dry it off. So that's pretty much it. We'll do another update video once we get everything completely set up and ready to open. We're hoping to do an open house maybe July or August, depending on when we're just finally, finally done. Um, there's still some electrical stuff we got to get finished and, and some things that we got to work some bugs out over the next few weeks. But we're hoping to do that. We'll let everybody know. We'll put it out on Instagram, Facebook, and, and YouTube and let everybody know when we're going to do that. We hope that we have a lot of people come in. We're going to do a lot of giveaways and things like that. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And check us out at BrancisAirCoat.com for all your laser, stencil, and Cerakote needs. Have a great day.